My friend Richard called me up and told me he bought a Sunseeker, which was very, very exciting right up until the point where I saw it, because it's this. And this, I think, is what we call a project, but there's no better man to take on a project like this than my friend Richard. You may have met him before, because on my other channel, Motorholic, he's the guy who builds the custom-built motorhomes. So he's really capable at this kind of stuff. And he's going to transform this, and we're going to follow his progress as he turns this into the ultimate Sunseeker Superhawk 34. So let's go and meet Richard and have a look at this boat and see the challenge that he's got ahead of him. Hi there, Richard. Hi, Nick. How are you? Very well. How are you doing? Yeah, very well, thanks. Excellent. So this is your new Sunseeker? Yeah, this is the new project. So really excited about this. This is a, a Superhawk 34, uh -huh. which is a personal favourite of mine. Right. Uh, from back in the day when I was uh, working in the marine industry. Yeah. I always used to see this boat and think how wonderful it would it looks, the style of it and everything. And personally, I think it's kept all of that shape over the years. It's It still could be, once we've done it, a desirable boat. It does look fantastic, I have to say. And this is actually the James Bond boat, isn't it? The one yeah, they used right, in, yeah. uh, which film was it? Is it The World Is Not Enough? It was The World Is Not Enough, that's the it, chase yeah. up the Thames. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. And probably it must have looked like that when they finished with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was that colour scheme as well, the blue and the white, which it was. is a classic Sunseeker. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, show it to us. Okay, <laughs> right. Well, she's currently sitting on our workshop trailer. Uh-huh. You can see... The sort of underside of it has not had a lot of love. We're going to have all that sand blasted off. We've got a guy that's going to come around and do a very delicate sand blast to get us right back to the hull. Right. So we can inspect the hull, make sure she's all good, do any necessary repairs on it. Yep. Um, and then we're going to go quite bold with it, which is a, a colour of mine which I've seen, which is a, a red and a black theme. So everything that's currently stainless steel is going to be black. Right. It's going to be powder coated. The screens are going to come off. They're going to be powder coated. Yep. We've got quite a nice idea that we're going to do with the radar arch, which is why the top of the radar arch is off. Okay. Um, which is we're going to put quite a nice modern T-top on it. So oh, wow. Forward wood cover, yeah. which is in fiberglass, which we're just designing at the minute. Yeah. And that will sit on top of the radar arch, which will give it a nice bit of sun cover and also lift it to the sort of modern look. Yeah. So we're going to try and enhance it as much as we can to a modern look, but also keep some of the original Sunseeker look to it. Awesome. Fantastic. Show us on board. Right. Let me see. What age is this? This is a 1998. 98. And the engines? It's got a pair, currently got a pair of uh kad 43s okay dp drives and you say currently it sounds like you've got plans for those yeah they're both coming out right um we what the, the plan mainly is to get the boat completely stripped so we're just working on hull and deck okay so we're not going to leave anything behind wiring plumbing sea cops anything like that is all going to again completely bare shell right and then we're going to build new from there on in so we're going to fit a pair of uh d4 300 volvos yep uh, with the joystick control. Uh -huh. We're going to remodel the uh, helm area and we're going to have a glass cockpit. Uh, we're going to keep some of the stuff. We're trying to gonna, uh, go switchless. So we're going to go into a touchscreen situation for all the controls. Wow. We're going to remodel the upholstery. We want a better helm seat. Uh, we're going to change some of this cockpit layout. And of course, we'll have the sun top on here. And then down below, we're going to make a few tweaks, but sort of keep to the the original layout because right. there's not an awful lot you can do with it. You've got the sort of B-berth at the front, um, a small galley and a small head. Fantastic. Let's go and have a look through. Right, after you. Thank you very much. So where did you get this boat from? Uh, this boat came from the Isle of Wight. Okay. It sat in the Isle of Wight for numerous years. Yeah. Um, just in slow decay, really, I think. Right. Yes, um, I think that's fair. Uh, we're going to pull all the decks up, so it's yeah. going to have all new uh, grey and black decks. Okay. And um, we're going to do some of that on the fore deck as well. Yep. Wow. So all of this is coming out then? Yep. All so the whole dash. So there'll be no instruments on it at all. It'll be screens. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. And the old classic Sunseeker wooden steering wheel there. Yeah, and the walnut <laughs> dash. Yeah, yeah. It's like an old Jaguar, isn't it? Yeah. But it still looks fantastic, doesn't it? You've got this wonderful curve of the whole stainless screen and the way the bow arcs away. Yeah, and I think of a boat that's 20 plus years old, 
to have something that still looks so good. I mean, there's a lot of boats 22 year old which look incredibly dated, in my opinion. But yeah. This Superhawk, I think, still has some really lovely lines, which, you know, goes back to its heritage, really, from Sunseeker in the early days with their performance boats. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can we look inside? Go for it, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think the uh, the term is a work in progress. Yeah, watch the puddle. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You are a braver man than me, but you're also a much more capable man than me, so uh, I think that's probably a good thing. Yeah, this really is properly stripped back, isn't it? So I guess the idea then is keeping the seating around here. Yeah. And a bed at the front? Yeah, we're just going to change the bed a little bit so it's a bit longer, uh, just so it makes it a little bit more comfortable. We're going to put some extra storage lockers in, Yeah. Uh, reshape the galley which sits in this corner a little bit, and then uh, we're going to just change the wardrobe over where the TV unit is a little bit, just to give it a little bit more space so that we can get a TV in there a bit more comfortably. Oh, this thing over here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then we're just going to remodel the heads as well. Ooh, so looking here. still original in there. Okay. The cherry, um, the cherry high gloss. Yeah. So this would have been the whole interior was yeah. all the way around the cupboards and that sort of thing. That's it. Would have all been that. Fantastic. Fantastic. This is going to be a really interesting project, I think. Brilliant. So I think the idea we discussed is that we're going to follow your project. We're going to come and visit yes. you on a regular basis. Yeah. You're going to let me know every time there's some updates and some more progress has been made. Yeah, that's it. We'll sort of get it through milestones. Um, the engine's coming out. It's going to be a big one because that sort of removes the old ready for the new. Yes. Um, but yeah, more than welcome to come around and we'll show you every stage of what we're doing. Perfect. That's fantastic. Okay. Let's go past this small lake. So that's about it for the minute. That looks like a really fascinating project to me. I'm really keen to see how Richard does with this. He does some incredible things with motorhomes. As I mentioned at the beginning, I've got a channel called Motorholic, and I'll put a link to that, and you can see some of the motorhomes that he's built. As I say, if anyone's going to do this job well, it's going to be Richard, so it's going to be fascinating to see what he comes up with. Stay tuned, and we'll keep the updates coming, and hopefully we'll even see this on the water. When's it going to go in the water, do you think? Oh, I think we need a 12-month window. 12 months in there. Yes. Okay, cool. So basically it's a 2021 project. That's it. Pretty much. Perfect. And we're going to take it all the way through and hopefully you'll see us out driving this boat in about a year's time. Yeah, test drive. Awesome. Welcome aboard for that one. We'll do the whole thing. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching as ever and we will look forward to catching on another one very soon. So this is Nick and Richard from Project Sunseeker.